All right, folks, I'm back. It's Bizik. We've got a special surprise in this box for today's uh, opening. So basically what I'm going to do is show you what's in this box. Boom. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Twenty four. Twenty four packs of Prestine hockey surprise bags. Twenty four packs of the Prestine hockey surprise bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all 24. Then I'll do a recap at the end because there's no way you want to sit through 24 openings of these. I'll do a full recap item by item. I'll pull what I believe are the hits. I'll pull what I believe are uh, noteworthy. And we'll go category by category to show you each card. Whatever surprises we get, top loaders, sleeves, the hinged boxes, packs of cards. I'll show you all of those. And I'll show you that what I believe are hits and my PCs. So PCs in my in hits and cards that are worth more than a dollar a piece, I will show you. So stick around, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with the reveal. All right, folks, everything is opened. Everything is sorted by category. 70s and 80s, which I never, ever get a 70s card. Superstar. Now, this is new to me, and I'm happy. I have five packs. Five packs of this premium Superstar Hall of Fame special insert cards. Never had premium before. I got five of them. A couple goalie packs. Hockey, uh, the six trading cards, sorry. 2010, 2000s, 1000 Point Club. Uh, we got the Hall of Famer, original six, which are usually always Chicago, and the Canadian team, which is usually always Vancouver for me. So we'll see what happens there. We've only got one 25 card hinge box. We did get a bunch of top loaders, which I've never gotten in a long time. Too many snaps, a couple packs of score, and a few packs of pro set, which is the norm. So that's everything we have there. So there's, there is everything out of 24 bags. I will cut them open, sort them, and then I'll show you what I have. You'll probably see all the cards from the premium, but I'll be right back, sorted. No Bowman, I ain't showing you any Bowman. I ain't showing you any Pro Set. So all the hits, all the PCs from this, yeah, you'll see Bowman or Pro Set if it's a PC. There's only a few people in that category, so we don't have to worry. So I'll be right back with the reveal. All right, everybody, as promised, here's our follow-up video. Out of the 24 Press Teen Hockey Surprise Bags, this is what I came up with. So, out of all of that, I received one 25-card hinged box. I received 11 top loader, four packs, which is phenomenal. And two of the many snap card loaders. I got two of the 1991 Pro Set hockey cards. And three of, sorry, score hockey cards. Three of the Pro Set hockey cards. Now, let's go through what I believe were the hits and or private collection cards. 
So starting with the 70s and 80s, got an old Lloyd Boschman, old Neil Broughton, older John Tonelli. These are all mint, so that's why I pulled them out, because they're older too. Mo Mantha, Larry Murphy, and to finish it off of the older ones, two Dave Andrewchucks, and those are both from 88 tops. Lenny McDonald, and it says he retired on there. So it's probably his last card. Personal collection, John Van Beesbrook, because he's a hound, and then a Washington Capitals team card. Now this is where it gets weird. So the next one was the Canadian franchise pack, which I had six packs of those. And all six packs were Montreal Canadiens. So I got a Jan Bula's MVP silver script. I got a rookie of Terry Ryan. It's probably not worth nothing, but it is a rookie card, so I pulled it. Sergei Zoltok MVP. And I got a Brendan Gallagher MVP, just because I collect MVP. So I pull them aside. Next up, I had uh, the original six franchise packs. And I had seven of them. And coincidentally, they were all Toronto, which usually never happens. So I pulled out some cards. So I got the Parker's Darcy Tucker. Parker's Rick Jackman, which is an X Hound. So that is a PC card. Parker's Aaron Gaby, which also is a PC card, so an X Hound. OPG Vesa Toskla. I just pulled it for fun. I got a Rick Kehoe from the 100th uh, annual, uh, annual 100, centennial set of the Leafs. A Modine centennial set card. Then I started getting into some of these uh, Parky cards. All right, some old school upper deck artwork card. 1991 Dream Team of Brett Hall. And I guess the pull for that one would be Man of the Year Brett Hall, which is kind of cool, you know, for being the 90s. I mean, you know, it's not the worst card. It could be better, could be worse. Next up, we had Superstar Pack. And in the Superstars, we had five of these packs, and this is what I pulled. We got another Dream Team card, Ray Bork, 1991 Dream Team. We got a uh, Calgary Flames with Theo Fleury on it uh, as a checklist. And then we got a Black Diamond, Zidane Chara, OPG Platinum, Gallagher, and then we got uh, some money cards. We got some SPs from Barzell and Crosby, which is three, four bucks right there. So it's not too bad. Next up, we moved on to the 1000 Point Club. I had 15 of these packs. 1000 Point Club. So the first one I liked, it was kind of funny. It's a now and then card from Pinnacle of Mike Gardner. Look at that duster. And then we got a uh, Don Russ, Keith Chuck. Older Matt Sundin on the, on the Penguins. On the Nordiques with that helmet. An SP, older SP, Eric Stahl. A Guy Lafleur. I always pull the Guy Lafleurs. Now these ones, these are all prospects cards from in the game. Now in the game floods this these sets, so they're drawings or fan fanimation, I guess almost maybe kind of kind of cards. So we got Sergey Fedorov, Trevor Linden, 
and Matt Sundin. And I don't know if they're any good, it just, they're different. Got a uh, pre-rookie card prospects of Braden Point. And the last one that I pulled, because there wasn't, out of all those packs, there wasn't much. A younger picture of Trotzier. So, he's, I guess he's a hero. Next up, we're jumping into the 2010. I mean, sorry, the 2000s. Where I had seven packs. We'll start off with an Eric Christensen MVP silver script. Followed by a Chris Osgood MVP silver script. And Sam Gagne and Brian Little. Team Canada duels. Once again, back into the in the game stuff. So, last opening I had five, six of Le Cavalier o Canada's grads. So, this one here is of Jordan Stahl. Then I got two of Heater, Danny, Danny Heatley. And then we went to Between the Pipes of, uh, I guess, an old school picture. Uh, Ernie Wakeley. And back a little further into the heroes. We got Bobby Clark in the game. Marcel Dion in the game. Between the pipes, greats of the game. Roger Vachon. Roger Gatien. And a great pull that's going into my PC. Kyle Gajewski, it's a Hounds everything. So it's a Hounds pull, goes right here into the PC. Then we stepped up to the 2010 to current, which I had four of those packs and I only pulled one card out of the four packs that I keep for my PC, nothing else. A checklist from Upper Deck Series 1 or 2, but this one is of the Series 2. That goes on my PC. Then, let's see. Next up, we have the six official trading cards hockey packs, which I had 13 of those, which are one of my favorites. And, as usual, I always pull a anything Team Canada. Stephen Rice. Rick Girard. Older Wendell Clark, which I don't mind. Then we're in, into the in the games again. Here's a hero, Milt Schmidt. Sergey Fedorov again in the uh, drawing category. And great to the game between the pipes, Eddie Belfour. And then first round pick between the pipes. Grant Fear, one of the greatest. And cards that everybody loved in the 90s. Pinnacle Masks, that's Brian Hayward, San Jose Sharks. Obviously a breakthrough paint job back in the day. And PC Collection, Bob Probert, Tops, X Hound. And another hound, Jake Muzzin. And another hound, Between the Pipes, Greats of the Game, John Van Beesbrook. Another hound, Matt Murray, SP Authentic. And my last two are Heroes and Prospects and an Upper Deck Series one card. Both of one of the great great goalies from, that came out of uh, the Greyhounds, rest in peace, Ray Emery. I like those cards. Two Ray Emerys, different ones to boot. Then we had a goalie pack. Actually, we had four goalie packs. And I only pulled one card. One single card out of all the goalie packs. And it's a Bowman of Beezer. 
So a Van Beesbrook Bowman card, which I have a few, at least two dozen of these downstairs in my office. So another Van Beesbrook. Now, I ordered these surprise bags from Dollarama at two bucks a pop. I ordered them from their website. The minimum to buy is 24. I received a surprise in these bags that I've never had before. Premium, premium card packs. I've opened a, at least 200 of these bags. Never had a premium. Well, they gave me five premiums. So I'm gonna show all 15 cards because there's three cards per pack, just to show the step up that premium has from Prestine. So I have a Christopher Nilstorp overtime card. Which isn't bad. Then I received an OPG 2000 of Steve Eiserman. So win the game, own the game from OPG. Rasmus Aristolainen artifacts, silver from 2018 19. And then I got a whole bunch of silver. 2020 20, 21 artifacts Pekka Rene Matt Tachuk Alex Pete Arango and a Connor Hellebuck then it jumped over to a Braden Point Allure then a 2017-2018 Jordan Stahl Trilogy. Then we jumped into some cards that do have a bit of money involved. So we received some credentials, upper deck credentials from last year, 1920. So Johnny Goudreau, Brock Bozer, Mark Andre Fleury, which goes into my PC. So, and then the last three cards, like these were not all, that's not how I received them, but these last three cards eh, aren't too bad. We got some rookies. So we got Neil Storp again as a score hot rookie. We have Andrew Cogliano, silver script rookie from MVP. And probably the best MVP, Upper Deck MVP rookie that I received. And my last card to show you, a Mark Shifley, MVP rookie. I know it's MVP, but it's still a rookie card and it's Mark Shifley. So there you go, there you have it. That's 24 surprise bags ordered right from Dollarama. Two bucks a pop, 65 bucks with shipping for 24 bags. And uh, stay tuned to the next one, people. And thanks for watching. Uh, shout out to a few of the channels I watch. Card Collector 255, Ziri. Uh, Muskoka Card Collector. YM Breaks. Just uh, check out their YouTube channels. And uh, have a great day. See you next time.